Grammar can be really notorious if used wrongly. Watch this video. This morning, I got up at night. <laughs> That's right. Also, if you miss or don't use the correct grammar, the whole meaning can change like this. I like cooking my family <laughs> with is missing here. Absolutely. Sometimes people invent their own verbs like I saw the movie. You saw the movie or you saw the movie. <laughs> Hey everyone, I am Anurag from EduTrainX and I am back with the part 2 of the top 15 grammar techniques and shortcuts and using them you will really elevate your success rates in the reading fill in the blanks questions for sure. Trust me, this video will change your PT game entirely. So do watch it till the end and don't forget to subscribe with the bell icon. Welcome back everyone, this is the part 2 of the 15 new grammar shortcut video. Just two days back you must have seen the part one of the video and you must have learned a lot of useful techniques. In this video we are just going to continue and learn more techniques with real life examples. Okay the first one and a really important one is what comes after a singular noun. A plural verb comes. After singular noun plural verb comes always. The only exception is when we are using does. See the table here it applies to he, she, it or single noun. So you can see he drives, she doesn't drive, does he drive. In these cases where you have used does, see that the verb changes back to singular. That's the only exception. But see the examples here. Sam cooks food, Sarika plays piano. So singular noun, plural verb. Singular noun, plural verb. Just keep it in mind. The next one is what comes after a plural noun. Exactly the opposite of what we just saw. A singular verb this time. See the table here. It is used with we, you, I and they and always, no exceptions here, always the verb will be singular. They drive, we don't drive, do you drive and see how the examples also changed. We cook food, you play piano, singular verb after plural nouns. And of course, I, you, we and they are considered to be plural as well. The next one is what comes after two can, could, will, would, shall, should verb one comes. See the examples here. Sam can work today. I will go to the school. He should play the piano. See how verb one is coming after these words. Again a very useful tip in the exam. The next one is a slight variation of the previous one. What comes after to be, can be, could be, will be, would be, shall be or should be. Two possibilities here. Verb one ing continuous tense or verb three. See the examples and then you will understand when comes what. You need to be doing your task. To be doing or can be doing, could be doing, will be doing, would be doing. This could be done quickly. I should be gone by tomorrow. Tom will be sleeping soon. You see how B changes the verb to either ing or verb 3 depending on how you want to use it. Time to use the examples to learn the techniques further. See the example here. The university dash a wide range of courses. University is what? Singular noun. So what will come? A plural verb. Let's find a plural verb here. I can see applies. I can see offers. I can see shows. Now time to use the context. University applies a wide range of courses. Doesn't make sense here. Offers a wide range of courses. Yes. Shows a wide range of courses. Doesn't make sense. Next one. Students can dash for the courses online or in person can dash can what verb one will come here now let's find out whatever verb ones are here we already located three students can apply or apply now again you have to use another grammar hint here this is plural students so singular verb will come so students can apply go will not make sense here so students can apply makes the perfect fit here see how Two grammar techniques help you to find out the correct answer. And that's the way you will do in the exam. Trust me. Every student should dash through a rigorous interview process. Should and student is singular. So what will come? Every student should. Next one is every student should dash. Should. What will come next? Verb 1. 
How many verb ones do we have remaining? Shows and go. Every student should shows. No. Every student should go. Yes. That makes sense here. So that will be our third answer. And every student is plural here. So that's why we have a singular verb. Again, second technique helps you to find out the correct answer. Last one is after selection, each of the students will be dash a dedicated professor. Will be. If you remember, verb three, that's the answer. So will be allocated is the only verb three here. So we can straight away choose this answer. And that's how you solve it. Simple, isn't it? Let's move on to the last set of grammar techniques. After one of the, what comes after one of the? Plural noun, one of the best tennis players. See the example that I've shown here. One of the best tennis players, one of the best singers, one of the best video makers, all these kind of one of the something, and then it will be a plural now. So one of the coldest cities, London is one of the coldest cities in the world. Everyone knows that. Next grammar technique is very easy to identify. Adverbs, easy to identify why I'm saying any word that ends with ly is adverb. And what is adverb? Adverb is something that describes a verb or an adjective sometimes, but mostly verb. And verbs, you already know that is an action verb. So it's describing an action. Now you see the examples and you will understand what it is. He writes slowly, writing slowly. I'm describing how I'm writing. We are eating slowly. Again, the pace of the eating is slow. So that's what I'm describing the action. I'm speaking clearly or I'm singing loudly. All these words will be adverbs. Very easy to recognize and then you will find it. So it will mostly come after the verb, describing the verb. That's all for this technique. Let's move on to the next one, which is grammar consistency. Very important. A single sentence in English language, if it is not a complex sentence, will always maintain the same tense. What I mean here is if you see a present tense verb is used in a sentence and if there is another answer which is asking you to put another verb, it will be present tense. If one verb is past tense, then another one will also be past tense. And this applies for active voice sentences. So you only need to observe and find what the pattern is. Once you find the pattern, it will be easy to solve the question. See the example here. The sun dash brightly in the day and sets in the evening. Clear hint is given to you. Sets, simple present tense. So what are you going to choose? Another verb here is required. Shines or shining? Shines, isn't it? Isn't that simple? If you identify a grammar pattern, your life becomes really easy in the exam. And there will be a lot of patterns, trust me, in the exam that you need to identify. Let's look at the next example and then I will show you what I mean by grammar pattern. See this example, considered highly intelligent. Highly, you already know, it's an adverb. Intelligent this time is adjective. Dash, energetic, again, adjective. Aptly, aesthetic. Aptly, again, adverb. Aesthetic, again, adjective. So what are we looking for here? We are looking for an adverb. Let's see how many adverbs. Barely and extremely. Now apply common sense, context, simple. Considered highly intelligent, barely energetic? No, extremely energetic? Yes. So that will be your first answer. Next one, dogs are one of the best dash domesticated ever. One of the best. One of the, and then plural noun will come here. So let's see how many plural nouns, just one. Simple. One of the best animals domesticated ever. That is why they are dash a man's best friend. R. What will come this time? Verb 3, if you remember. So they are considered a man's best friend. Now you see how simple it is to solve the questions when you learn the grammar techniques. And you can definitely use combination of these grammar techniques to, to narrow down the options for you and then apply the context there. Apply context, collocation, vocabulary. Then everything becomes simple, isn't it? So that is all we have for this video. This video was a time well spent as grammar is utterly useful in your PT exam. Before you go, if you haven't watched the part one of the 15 grammar shortcuts video, please do watch. This will further boost your PT exam preparation. Till then, keep watching Edutrainx and I will soon be back with another informative video on PT. See ya.